Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about why I think MTG Finance has basically gotten out of control. Um, I think when you're talking about uh, magic cards and the fact that there is this magic card that has, you know, there's $900,000 PSA. Now it is probably the best out of the best magic card. That being said, should a magic card ever cost $900,000? I don't think so. I think that's a very high price. And even beyond just being a extremely, extremely high price, one of the core issues I have with um, this buyer and then other buyers is it's clear that they're only buying just to, to resell. That's why it's 800, then 900, then a million, then a million point one. They're not buying it because they actually really love it or love it $900,000 worth. They're buying it so they can flip to the next person. When the economy is very good, I could see that game being played of hot potato, but then when the economy is bad, uh, we have something like we have right now. And I don't think it's ever gonna get better. The economy is gonna take a long time to get better. Uh, this pandemic is not a overnight type of deal. This is gonna be here to stay. It sucks, everyone's being laid off. Uh, they're being furloughed and you know when you talk about hours being cut or losing money and then you talk about nine hundred thousand dollar magic card it's night and day right and i think a lot of people who should not have invested in magic cards did because they were encouraged by and this guy in particular he mentions alpha investments a lot as you know, he's a Rudy light. That's what he calls himself. And I think he bought, he doesn't buy this magic card. So he's a Pokemon dude. He doesn't buy this magic card. And to my understanding, he doesn't actually know very much about Magic the Gathering. And yet he owns the most expensive Magic the Gathering card. $900,000, that's enough to retire on. I think that when you talk about just how ridiculous a lot of people are today. This, these cards are not, I mean, there's not a single magic card in my, I personally feel that should be over a hundred dollars. So to have a magic card over $900,000 means that a lot of things have gone wrong, including obviously the reserve list, so you can't reprint more. And now it's a collect. It's, it really is a hot potato of sellers selling to each other, and then buying at a higher price just to resell to another person at even higher price. The economy is not good. The economy is really, really bad, and I don't expect it to get better. Um, I expect it to get much, much worse. Um, what, what can I say? Um, except people are losing jobs and that's the case scenario that you fear most of all. You're, you fear that people are going to be laid off and they don't have money to buy luxury items. I can tell you U.S. reports its most deaths in one day. There are now 300,000 U.S. cases. And by the time this video goes live, it's probably even more. And 1,224 deaths were reported today. Normal will look very different when this is over. I don't know. Um, I can tell you that it will be a reckoning and the people with these very valuable magic cards who have seen gain after gain, it's easy to become an MTG finance genius when you just tell people to buy things and they go up in price because the market is trending up. 
And Wizard of Coast is even interested in that because look at their deluxe and their mythic and their ultimate and their, you know, all the adjectives you could possibly use on their products. They're just selling as many products as they can, as fast as they can. And reprints, I mean, look at the mystery boosters and then look at the jumpstart. I mean, it's just reprint after reprint after. They're, they're producing so much product. Like, just a wave of product. So, everyone is in it. There's not enough money. There's not enough money and there's not enough demand for this card to be $900,000 in my opinion. That is a insane amount of money and I feel sorry for the dude. He'll never admit it. He, he absolutely will never admit that this was a bad life decision, but it, it was. If you not had $900,000 and you decided to buy one single magic card, I don't know what to say. You could have retired, but instead you're a Pokemon slash magic channel. And the way that he uh, structured it is exactly like Rudy, where he charges patrons for advice. And they hit him up for advice and Pokemon advice. And he basically says he's the Rudy of Pokemon. I don't know. It just sounds very, very, very silly. And in my opinion, I don't think anyone should pay 900 I mean, At that point, that's retirement money. That's not like investment money. That's retirement money that you can get. Um, it's very silly and it's only going to get more and more silly as we go on I, this pandemic is not going to go away this pandemic is here to stay for at least six months if not longer and it will change the way people look at hobbies $900,000 for one magic card? That's a crazy amount of money. Um, and I think no words can express my feel. If I had bought a Black Lotus for $20,000 over the summertime, I would be very, uh, very worried. It was a BGS um, beta Black Lotus. Um, so it was $20,000 plus I had to pay my plane ticket and do all this stuff and fees to get there. So all in all, it probably would cost $2,200, right? If I had to pay $2,200, $22,000 for one of these cards that is like almost impossible to move at this time, I would be pissed. I would be very, very concerned right now about my financial well-being. But luckily, I'm not an idiot and I didn't buy that card. People were told to buy vintage cards in 2019 and 2018. I, I even bought vintage cards because I thought it was a good deal. But it turned out we were all dummies because the only people who made money were the people who sold us those cards and they knew exactly what they were doing. Now, of course, they probably didn't know that there would be a pandemic, but magic cards are only worth what someone is willing to pay. And if there's no market for someone who wants to pay uh, that amount of money, it doesn't make any sense, right? It's one of these really crazy things that when you think about and you really kind of I mean, it's just so mind-blowing that a single Magic card can be sold for $900,000. It's so it's so crazy when you really consider what it is. It's a piece of cardboard. Now, I know you would say, oh, money is, a, money is you know, a piece of paper. Yes, but it can be exchanged for other stuff. And there's not a bill that's $900,000, right? So this is a single item that is that expensive. And now this dude, I gu I guarantee you, he can't publicly say he regrets it because then that will hurt the value. He's going to say, oh, you know what? Uh, this pandemic made my card worth $10 million now. 
like some type of idiot. Um, but it's bad. I mean, I don't think anyone can say that it is good. It's bad, bad, bad. And, you know, when I think about it, it just makes me sad that so many people got hosed because they listened to random people online to tell them to buy vintage magic cards. The only reason I bought vintage magic cards was because of two vintage magic play um, It's because of Alpha Investments and another person on YouTube who you can probably figure out who that is. Because they kept making it seem like, oh, you know, this is a great investment opportunity. Oh, 10, 20 years, that'd be great. So I got swept up. So I made that mistake and I regret. I have Alpha and Beta cards and I regret buying them. But luckily for me, I didn't buy a $900,000 card. I mean, I was in the market for a Black Lotus for a long time. And then finally one came on the market, which I thought the price was very reasonable. It was an, an eight, but it was more like a seven and a half because a lot of the, it was like just an eight, just close enough to an eight. And I thought 20,000 was pretty good. Um, we worked on the details and I, he wanted to fly, he wanted me to fly to Atlanta and then kind of pick it up, look at it, stay in a hotel and so on. So I probably could have done that in a day. And it would have cost me like one hotel, one air round trip. So it's not just 20000 It's probably closer to mm, 20500 maybe less, maybe more. Dude, I am so glad I didn't pull the trigger on that card. Would I rather have a single card or a bunch of revised dual lands? I take the dual lands all the time because you get 200 of those, right? It's, wow, I'm looking at uh, Marketplace right now, Facebook Marketplace, and there's so many Magic Collections for sale. Now, of course, they're asking way too much, but nonetheless, there are a lot of Magic Collections for sale. Anyway, hi guys.